A second misnomer is that uh, Calvinists believe uh, that God is sovereign to such an extent that we as human beings have no human responsibility or freedom. Sometimes people call this hyper-Calvinism. God is so sovereign that we are basically robots. And so this is something that the historic Reformed tradition has uh, never embraced. But rather we always teach something that sounds seemingly contradictory, but it's not. It's something that the Bible itself does teach. Namely, God is sovereign, or to borrow the words of the Westminster Confession of Faith, he has uh, foreordained whatsoever comes to pass. But at the same time, we also teach that human beings are 100% responsible for their actions. And the Westminster Confession again says this in chapter 3, paragraph 1, when it says that God foreordains whatsoever comes to pass, yet in such a manner that he's not the author of sin, nor does he do violence to the will of the creature. And so this means that in very simple terms, God is 100% sovereign and we're 100% responsible for our actions. It's just that God is the king and we are his servants. And so it's not that we are not responsible for our actions or that God's sovereignty somehow robs us of our responsibility. In fact, we would say that it's God's sovereignty that enables us to be responsible for our actions.